Um, I'm Kiana. I'm Sarah. And for some reason, yeah, this dude wants us to do this video. Um, I don't know what he expects us to do and if he thinks we're going to do a good job. Uh, he's not allowed to say anything the whole time, apart from what he writes on this beautiful whiteboard. Um, yeah, this video is going to be about... Uh, <laughs> the clone centaur and basically we're going to compare these different petals here um yeah before i forget before we talk about the pedal board um we're playing these super awesome the dario strings and they're pink because we're girls and that's totally not sexist um but yeah sure why not <laughs> um Okay, you want to say something about the petals? Yes, um, sure we have the claw, then we want to um, compare with the Dr. J, the cell food, then bad horse, the minotaur, and we have to say that the bad horse and the minotaur is kind of the same, only to know, um, the merman and the archer, and we want to show you how they sound the same, and yeah. Yeah, so um, basically just there are tons of comparison videos about this, I think, but we have no clue. I have no clue about pedals. I don't know about you. Um, and so we're just going to, you know, listen to the different sounds and see if we can, you know, hear any difference, see which ones are better. Um, yeah, as Sarah already said, the Bad Horse and the Moval Minotaur are actually exactly the same. Um, so it doesn't matter which one you play, the inside <laughs> is basically just the same thing. Okay, you see I have no clue about pedals. Um, yeah. And of course we want it to say... Set up. Um, alright, so we've got these two guitars here and <laughs> we're gonna be... <laughs> You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to make any noises. <coughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, both of us are gonna be playing. Um, yeah, we've got all these pedals on the board and gonna compare them anyway. This A B switch on the floor for both the guitars that goes into the amp or whatever. <laughs> That goes somewhere else. Something about a Sennheiser, but it's actually just what Henning usually sets up, so I think you know what this is better than me. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. See, I'm doing something terribly wrong again. Okay, Grandma Nazi, go back to your seat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say we start with um, the clone right here, um, KTR. Maybe you want to say something about it quickly? Um, maybe about the older ones. Um, they are to the gold one and the silver one. and. When you look on eBay, they are um, so high prices. Some of them are cost more than two thousand dollars, and yeah, and it's kind of them. So the red and the gold. We want only uh, to to talk about uh, why are the people um, agree to pay so much for a pedal? Because I'm sure lots of you have heard about this crazy hype of the clone pedal. I haven't until Henning told us about it. Um, yeah, so we don't have the gold or the silver original here, but um, yeah, we've got the KTR, which you can get for 400. Um, and yeah, which is a bit cheaper than <laughs> the crazy priced uh, originals, which I think we found um, a really cheap version on eBay for like, what was it? 3,200 plus uh, $122 um, for... What's Fezzan? 
shipping. Shipping for shipping. So um, yeah, if that's still available, maybe you want to get it. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> um, so because according to some other videos, that basically just sounds the same as the Kung KTR we have right here. Um, yeah, maybe you can just start playing on that one. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right, so this is without the pedal, first of all, so we have um, some comparison. <laughs> actually quite the same. Yes. Um, I'm not one of those pedal nerdines. Ner nerdines. Um, I heard that in the last video they apparently said that the female form of pedal nerds is nerdellas, but I think nerdine sounds better and is more appropriate, but I don't know. Well, I'm not a pedal nerdine. I don't know if you're a pedal nerdella, um, but I think they sound really similar. I think they sound the same, actually. I can't really hear a difference between the two of them. Um, I guess we can put on the Merman and then maybe the clone KTR again, just for comparison. <laughs> Then we'll do that with the clone, KTR, and the Archer again. It's gonna be so chaotic. <laughs> and you're just loving it! Great! Alright, um, play something? difference and just try it again. Well, I think these two pedals are really similar. Um, the clone KTR is 400 here, I think I said that already. Anyway, um, the Archer you can get for 200, I believe which is already a huge difference. Also, the Archer is a whole lot smaller than the KTR, which is kind of good on your pedal board. More room. Um, yeah, let's continue with the Merman now. Maybe you want to play. Okay. Well, let's start on the clone maybe first. <laughs> sound different right now. Um, I just change the gain maybe. Oh, you put on the merman again. Okay. <laughs> Um, 
Well, this does sound different. And as I said, I'm no pedal expert. Um, but I wouldn't say it sounds worse. Not in my ears. It's a different sound, but not a bad sound. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes, it's very good. Yeah, I think. Um, how much was the Merman? 180? Not listening. Uh -huh. Merman price? 180? 200. Also 200. Okay. Yeah, which is okay again in price, I think. That's pretty fine. Especially if you compare it to the original clone. Um, yeah, then let's try the Moval. Yes. Um, and he used to say he, it only costs uh, 45 euro. And um, then the clone with 400 euro. And um, it's very, uh, really, really the same uh, sound. And yeah. not because of the pedal difference that's because we have no clue how to use pedals <laughs> um Henning, you want to help us hmm? you want to help us mm. <sighs> he's so lazy um you have any clue <laughs> no maybe play again all right <laughs> sound alike. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, want me to play? Hey. Okay, okay. Sorry, it's not easy if you're mute. <laughs> his videos. He's <laughs> such a douchebag sometimes. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, let's maybe go back to the Moval and the clone again. Um, want, you want to play maybe? Yeah. All right. All right, put on the clone first. <laughs> different to me either. Um, 
first of all, the Moval is smaller than the clone, and second of all, you can get it at Tolman for like 45 euro at the moment, which is super cheap in comparison to the 400 for the clone. So, yeah, I think, at least for me, spending 45 is uh, a better deal, and <laughs> I wouldn't want to spend 400 on the clone then. Uh, yeah, the bad horse and the Moval, as we said already, is the same thing, so basically it doesn't matter which one you get, they both sound absolutely identical. Um, continue me with the town city. Soul food? No, I'm sorry, not the soul food. to me too. Um. The clone is a bit cleaner. Yeah, Let's but see. that's m must be the pedal because as we already said, um, not the pedal, the setting. Um, because as we already said, it's basically exactly the same as the Moval. So if you're bit better at using pedals than we are, then you'll figure out how to make it sound just like the clone as well. Um, and I guess we'll continue. Oh, all right. compared to the archer. Again, the sound is absolutely identical. I can't hear any difference. <laughs> um, yeah, merman. There's maybe a little different, but um, although there different but they are so small and I don't know why people want to pay 400 euro dollar or whatever to um, a pedal which you can have for 45 euros or dollar I don't know <laughs> yeah and um, the question is why the people buy them and Henning and I talked a bit um, if we would have all of these, which we have, and we want to play on a, a stage or in a studio or yeah, somewhere, and if I have the original, I would take the original, although um, the mobile is cheaper or the Archer or the Soul Food or which you like. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, if I had all of these pedals, uh, I'd take the clone too, I think, although it's bigger. <laughs> Um, and the Archer or the Moval would be probably better to use, because um, more room. I'd still take the clone just because I think it's some psychological thing. And it's just something in your head that you're like, oh, this is the original. And even me, without knowing about this hype, someone tells me, well, this one is the better original version. And it's super expensive, so it must be good, right? <laughs> um... But still, I can't really hear a difference. And I think especially if you're playing, you know, with other music in the background, and I don't think you could hear 
any difference where you'd be like, oh, it would have been so much better to play the clone right now in not the archer or the merman. I think it's actually just something in your head. <laughs> if you want the clone. Yeah, it is pretty stupid, right? Why spend 400 or 3000 dollars on a pedal that you can get for 45 and is smaller even? So, um, people are stupid, right? Yeah, people are stupid. And just throwing money out of the window. That's really weird. Um, yeah, maybe we can continue with the soul food. Because, like, what the heck? <laughs> to play along because we know they sound the same and it's only a thing in your head. If you want to buy the clone then buy it but you are definitely um need a word for ausgestattet. Oh um <laughs> well your the mama is if you if you have the other pedals then um you definitely have a really good sound and a sound that is comparable or exactly the same as the clone. Um, so yeah, you really don't need to spend 400 euro or dollars on a pedal that is larger and not necessarily better unless of course you're like, hey, I have the clone and I spent $3,000 plus $122 shipping um, for this original golden clone if you want to do that and you have the money sure uh i don't you've got something to say um it's a nice sound but honestly it didn't like blow me away it wasn't like whoa this sound is like super awesome and i can't believe i didn't hear about it um it's definitely a nice sound but it's nothing i'm um, like this is super amazing and I'm so glad I have these pedals to play right now because <laughs> yeah I, I, I can't say that there's anything really super special about it I, I can't think of anything what about you I would say the same they are only pedals and when the mobile sounds the same then why don't play it and Maybe there are some people who will say, why are they so stupid? It's a clone, it's so awesome, and yeah, you have to get it. And so you say, demo well, you can play with it, but yeah. Yeah, That's actually okay. on Monday, Henning and I watched this video and um, we were listening to the clone, actually it was the originals being compared with... I think it was the Moval, I think it was the golden one being compared with the Moval Minotaur. And someone, and lots of people commented underneath saying, well, sounds great to them, no difference. But there was this one person that actually wrote that the clone has a nicer and more heavenly sound, which <laughs> really, I couldn't hear that. Um, and the Movell apparently sounded cheaper. I completely disagreed. I heard zero difference. Henning, who is supposed to be an expert at this stuff, also didn't hear a difference. <laughs> um, shut your pie hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so my theory is that person that commented that probably bought the golden clone and was a bit pissed that the Moval sounded the same, or was just like, well, this sounds so much more amazing. I spent three and a half thousand dollars on it, so it must be good, right? Um, yeah, I honestly couldn't hear a difference, and I don't think it was better in any way. Anything else you want us to add? Okay. Maybe we can show again our strings. Oh yeah, sure. We'll we'll Maybe show our beautiful we'll strings again. Let me yeah. Show again. Um, I'm super flashed. 
Henning threw these strings to us and said that, you know, we're playing these super amazing strings and they're pink because we love pink, right? Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Okay, he has something to say to us again, yay. Very exciting, really. Um, I don't even know why he wanted us to do this. I think he's just having a great time. Watch us be a bit confused with all of this because we have no clue. Oh, he's saying thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I was just so mean to you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but he is having fun looking, looking at us being all confused about this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But we did great, right? Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, you can like it on YouTube and you can subscribe his channel if you like watching him. <laughs> I subscribed it because he's my guitar teacher, not because I religiously follow all his videos. <clears throat> but it's an awesome channel, really. It's great. Go check it out if you haven't yet, um, if you had Lucky You. And yeah, thanks for listening to us. And I hope we didn't confuse you anymore because <laughs> um, I'm proud of myself doing this because I had no clue what I was about to do, actually. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>